Hey. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Give me your clown horn. Give me your clown horn. Thanks. Lethal Company. It's got loon stuff. Ever since I picked up my first V-Type engine and thought, man, this might become an issue if there's fast monsters in this game, and then immediately died, I've been curious about the way loot in this game works. My gaming background has almost always consisted of some type of dopamine-inducing looter shooter, including Rust, Tarkov, Project Zomboid, and plenty more. I always stuck to loot guides whenever I needed to know strategies, what to grab and what to leave in case of, uh... Yeah, um... Hey, wait, wait, come here. Emergencies? and what effects each piece of loot has on your gameplay, such as weight or value per slot in the case of Tarkov. So I thought, with all this in mind, it would be pretty fitting for me to make a guide showcasing every piece of yummy loot you can bring back to the company, including some of their benefits, drawbacks, and where you can find them. I'll touch on each piece of loot for a brief period of time, because there are a lot of them. I'll also be listing these in alphabetical order. The air horn is a must-have for some of the best morale-boosting moments in Lethal Company. It's very common on March, Offense, and Titan, and is also a one-handed piece of loot. When moving forward, know that two-handed loot prevents you from interacting with ladders, picking up items, interacting with certain objects in the game, such as ship items, and switching between items in your inventory. This makes one-handed items such as the air horn much better to find overall. I'll rank the air horn as an S tier, because it's worth 62 credits, it doesn't weigh anything, and the hilarity it brings to the game is absolutely amazing. You can literally see it in my last intro. Also, as a quick side note, I'll be listing these credit amounts at their average amounts. The apparatus is our first two-handed item of many, and can be found in a very specific type of room hooked up to the power core of the bunker. I haven't personally found these in manners yet, but if you can, let me know in the comments. When you pull an apparatus out of the device it's attached to, you'll notice that the lights flicker before suddenly going out. Every bunker door will open as well, and won't be able to be closed again. Take note of this if you have a long walk back to the entrance, as not having any natural lighting inside the bunker besides your flashlight can be absolutely terrifying. Apparatuses weigh 31 pounds, which can slow you down substantially. They can be lifesavers on some of the early runs though, as they are one of the most best value items on experimentation and assurance. I'll put the apparatus at a B tier, because it's two-handed and heavy, but it's also worth a substantial 80 credits. Alright, I'm sure some of you didn't expect us to get to this point. But we're at the Beehive, baby! Yep, you Hive runners out there will be hyped for this one, I'm sure. The Beehive is the only piece of loot, as far as I'm aware, outside of the bunker. It spawns with a horde of circuit bees that will protect it at all costs, and it's most common on Vow in March. Though I do see it pretty much everywhere except for the snowy moons. Once you learn how to circumvent these pesky, zappy creatures, the Hive is one of the most valuable items in the game, coming in at a whopping 121 credits. Even though the Hive has the danger of the bees, and it's two-handed, it also doesn't weigh anything. For that reason, oh yeah baby, you know it's our first S tier. What a fucking letdown right after the beehive. We just got to the big bolt. The big bolt fucking sucks. In all seriousness though, the big bolt is a one-handed item that weighs 19 pounds, it's only worth 26 credits, and it's essentially not worth getting over most items unless you happen to have the room for it. The bolts are the most common on experimentation, assurance, offense, march, and actually titan. There are C tier only because there are worse things to come by, but this is definitely at the bottom of C tier. Bottles are a two-handed item, and just like the bolts, they weigh 19 pounds. They're worth 50 credits, which is almost twice as much as the bolts, but they're also two-handed, which can suck to haul back and forth. They're very common on Assurance, Offense, and March. I'd rank bottles at a B tier, B for bottle, because I find myself getting a lot of them, and in the early game I'm happier to see them compared to most two-handed objects I'll get. Brass spells are a one-handed item that are one of the most conductive in the game, making them an absolute must-have for stormy moons. If you have these and you find them on stormy moons, keep them. Bring them outside. Hold them up in the air. All jokes aside, they're super heavy, weighing 24 pounds. Good god. But they're worth almost as much as the apparatus at 64 credits, which for being a one-handed item isn't all that bad. They're common on Vow, Rend, and Dine. Since you shouldn't be going on Stormy Moons anyways, I'll rank Brass Bells at a high B tier, just because of how heavy they are. Candy is relatively uncommon. I really only find myself finding these things in Rend. Regardless of that, the wiki does say they're on Dine as well, but they only have a 2% spawn chance on both. 
If your luck gives you the candy, I feel sorry for you. It's worth only 21 credits, and it weighs 11 pounds for some reason. This is an easy D tier. There's no reason for it to be this rare. Cash registers. They're for tops. They're a two-handed item and are incredibly heavy, weighing in at 84 goddamn pounds. They also give you 120 credits if you can successfully make it back to the ship with one. Good luck. They're super rare, typically having anywhere from a 0.2 to 1% spawn chance. I treat them like a treasure chest. As soon as I get one, I make a run for the ship. Cash registers are going to go on A tier only because they're so goddamn heavy, so goddamn rare, and that weight has gotten me killed a couple of times. Go for beehives if you're a high roller. They don't weigh a thing, they're not nearly as rare, and they only weigh down your sanity, really. Chemical drugs are an interesting one, because the wiki states they spawn exclusively on Val, and this is the only place I've seen them, aside from once on March. They weigh 31 pounds, which is quite a bit, they're two-handed, and they're worth slightly less than the apparatus at 58 credits. I'd rank chemical drugs at a high B tier, just because they're essentially an upgraded apparatus that don't take the lights out. Clown horns are funny generators. They weigh nothing and are worth 62 credits if you find them when they commonly spawn on offense March and Titan. They're a one-handed item and are S tier easily. I'd play this section off with the sweet tune of the clown horns and air horns as we cover them both. Coffee mugs are one of the lightest items in the game, weighing around 5 pounds. They're also worth 46 credits, making this a great find. They're one-handed and are commonly found at both of the intermediate tier moons and all of the hard moons from what I find. I'd rank coffee mugs at an A tier, because they're one of the best value items in the game and don't weigh a thing. Cookie mold pans weigh 16 pounds, are worth 26 credits, and are a one-handed item. They commonly spawn on Vow and Assurance, but I've seen a lot of them on Titan and Experimentation as well. I'd rank cookie pans right in the middle of the pack at B. They're an all-around good find, but they're not mind-blowing or anything. Dust pans are one of the most worthless items in the game. Even though they weigh nothing, they're only worth 22 credits. So I'd recommend just grabbing them if you have the room, but don't bother if you don't. I see them a lot on Experimentation, Assurance, and Offense personally, and I'd rank them at the bottom of C tier just because they don't weigh anything. Egg beaters weigh 11 pounds, sell for 28 credits, and are a one-handed item. I loot them commonly on Vow, Assurance, and March, but I also find them on Experimentation from time to time. I'd say they're pretty much a C tier. They weigh a bit too much for my liking, and they conduct electricity really well as well, which catches me off guard a lot more on Stormy Moons than you think. Fancy lamps are an item I don't often find, but when I do, I smile so wide. Lamps can act as a temporary flashlight with a small range of light, and they are really good as a loot item as well. They're worth 94 credits, are two-handed, and are pretty light for their value, weighing at 21 pounds. You'll commonly find these lamps inside the manners of Ren, Dyn, and Titan. They are an easy S tier as they don't weigh very much, and are worth almost as much as the register. Gold bars. They don't exist. That's it. I'm tired of people telling me they do. I'm just kidding. There's screenshots in the game. They exist for you, that's great. They're a one-handed item, weigh 77 pounds, which is kind of insane, and are worth more than any other item in the game. 156 credits, holy absolute shit. They're essentially double the rarity of cast registers though, and have the highest spawn chance on March, Ren, Dine, and Titan, but they're incredibly hard to find anyways. These are an easy S tier if you find them, because they may be heavy, but they're one-handed, so you can climb up and down ladders and switch between items in your inventory while holding it. Golden cups are insanely good. They're one-handed, weigh only 16 pounds, and are worth 60 credits. They're pretty, and spawn frequently on the hard moons of the game. I'd rank these goblets at S tier as well, as they're essentially everything you can want in a piece of loot. Hairbrushes. Shit. D tier. 11 pounds. 22 credits. Too goddamn common. I find too goddamn many of these. Only loot these if you have nothing else. Hair dryers, on the other hand, are absolutely amazing. They're one-handed, weigh 7 pounds, and are worth a staggering 80 credits. This makes these essentially an upgraded golden cup. They spawn commonly on the hard moons from what I find, and I've even found one on offense, which I don't know if it was a fluke or what. I'd rank hair dryers as the easiest S tier of my life. They're one of the best items in the game, and the noise generator thing is super annoying and fun. Large axles. They're really common on lower tier moons, worth 46 credits and weigh 16 pounds, which is kind of surprising for how big they are. They have an issue of being super big, but aren't as heavy as I thought they were, and they're also not as valuable as I thought they were. Even with this though, they're worse options to loot. It'll help me place this in a high B tier. Laser pointers are so amazing, dude. You can point them in teammates' eyes, point out loot, point out a little dot on the monitor for your teammate at the ship to see. They're just all around amazing. They're one-handed, worth 66 credits, which is awesome, and they commonly spawn on offense, march, and rend. Laser pointers are going in the S tier for me. They weigh nothing, are fun little guys, and are actually pretty common for how expensive they are. 
Magic 7 balls are super new to me. I just found my first one before recording this video. They're worth 54 credits, have a relatively high weight of 16 pounds, and spawn the most frequently on hard moons. They're going in A tier for me because of the value and the one-handedness. Hold ball. Hold ball. Magnifying glasses are pretty cool. They're worth a little less than the Magic 8 ball. Fuck, Magic 7 ball. They weigh 11 pounds, which is a little less as well, and they're way more common. I can actually find these essentially on every map except experimentation and assurance. I'd rank magnifying glasses at an A tier as well, though they are really close to an S tier. Paintings are something I only learned the existence of from other YouTube videos, as I couldn't for the life of me find any for the longest time. Despite this, they're actually apparently pretty common on the three hard moons of the game, Ren, Dine, and Titan. They're worth a whopping 92 credits, but also weigh 32 pounds, so be careful dragging these two-handers out of the manor or bunker you're crawling around in. I'll put paintings at an A tier, because they're pretty bulky even if they cost a lot. Perfume bottles. Besides making me feel like a boss bitch when I hold them, they're pretty much an easy grab and go whenever I see them, as they don't weigh anything and are worth an insane 76 credits. They spawn the most on these three hard moons. But I think I've seen one on March as well. These are the easiest S tier so far. The phone is cool if you're a fan of peeping the horror. This phone lets you peep the horror essentially more than any other item in the game. Other than this cool feature where a women screaming ASMR plays through the phone speaker, it's worth 56 credits, is one-handed, whoa, smartphone, and only weighs 5 pounds, which is super nice. You can find this bad boy on Vow and March a lot, as well as the three hard moons. I rank the phone in an S tier, it's pretty solid all around. Pickle jars are common on maps like Vow, March, Offense, and Titan from what I find. They're one-handed and are worth 46 credits, which is great. They just weigh 15 pounds. Who the fuck buys 15 pounds worth of pickles? I rank pickle jars as an A tier, because they are one-handed in 60 credits, which is always good. Pill bottles make me scratch my head. I've never seen footage of them or seen them out in the wild, similar to gold bars. If you find them, they don't weigh anything, they're one-handed, and they're worth 28 credits, which isn't awful. If anyone knows where to find these guys, let me know. I'll still put them at a B tier for now and try to find one for myself. Plastic fish are amazing. They just boost my morale. No real reason why. They're common on most of the easy and intermediate moons and are one-handed. They weigh nothing, are worth 34 credits, and I'd honestly put them in the high end of B tier just because it's common and worth quite a bit for not weighing anything. Soda! So Soda! It's actually insanely good! It weighs only 8 pounds, is worth 54 credits, and they're insanely common on the intermediate and hard moons. I find them actually pretty regularly. I'd rank Soda at an S tier because it's portable and worth a lot. Remotes are very similar to phones in how they look, but they aren't worth as much and don't give you any SMR. They're worth 34 credits, weigh nothing which is nice, and are one-handed. The thing about remotes that differentiate them from the phone the most in my opinion is the fact that they can actually turn certain things on and off. Ship lights. They're somewhat common on March, Assurance, and Offense, and I'd rate them in an S tier. Robot toys are very common on a lot of different maps, like Offense, Rend, Dine, and Titan. They're one of the only items in the game to cause noise when you pick them up, and putting them in your pocket doesn't stop it from making that horrendous, cacophonous, shrieking noise. The only way I've been able to stop it from making its noise is to drop it and pick it back up until it shuts the fuck up. Regardless of this mechanic, it can be picked up in one hand, it's worth 72 credits which is pretty decent, and weighs 21 pounds. I'd rank the robot toy on an A tier because it's worth quite a bit, but it's kinda heavy and the noise mechanic can be really bad when trying to listen for sound cues. I honestly don't have much to say about the rubber duck. Other than the fact that it's super fucking awesome, it doesn't weigh a single pound, makes a cute little sound when you drop it, and comes in at around 51 credits. I find it a lot on Bow and Titan personally, and I think that the rubber duck sits right around the bottom of S tier for me. Since it doesn't weigh anything, and the fact that you can find it on Vow makes it actually a pretty good item early game. Steering wheels are very common on easy moons, which is probably because they are worth a measly 24 credits. They also weigh 24 pounds, which is... Uh, it's fucking bad. I find them a lot on experimentation and would rate them at a D tier. They're too damn heavy for the amount of credits you get from them. Stop signs are interesting, as they are the less heavy of the two signs in the game, only weighing 21 pounds, which is a few more pounds than the shovel. The reason that I mention this is because these are the only three items in the game as of right now that can actually damage enemies if you swing them. This includes teammates if you get the urge. Embrace the urge. They are one-handed somehow, are worth 36 credits, and are the most common on Assurance, Offense, and March, and are absolutely S tier, just for the functionality of them. If you don't have a shovel, stop signs are just a little heavier and deal just as much damage. Oh fuck. Metal sheets. Whew, boy. These things are worthless. They don't even break an average amount of 20, coming in at pathetic 16 credits. 
They also weigh 26 pounds. What the ever living fuck, dude? The only two redeeming qualities of them are that there are typically a lot of them and they're one handed. That's pretty much it. They just weigh you down. Bottom of D tier. If there's an F tier, this would be the only thing in it. Tea kettles are fine. They weigh quite a bit at 21 pounds, but they're also worth 44 credits to back this up. Unlike that goddamn piece of shit failure of a piece of- They're one-handed, common on pretty much every moon except experimentation and assurance, and I'd rank them at a B tier. Another all-around good piece of loot to grab. Teeth. Teethers. Tooth. They're really good. They weigh nothing, are worth 72 credits, and chatter a whole bunch when you initially pick them up. It's similar to the robot toy, except these dentures only do it for a brief moment. The fact that they're pretty common on both intermediate maps and all three hard maps from what I find makes the teeth an easy S tier for me. I love finding these. Next up is Toothpaste. I see a lot of these on Titan for some reason, like a lot. I found three of them in one room one time. I also found them on Dine in March, but not nearly as much as Titan. Toothpaste weighs nothing, is worth 31 credits, and I'd rank it at an A tier. You can't really go wrong with it in my opinion. Toy Cubes, aka the Rubik's Cubes of Lethal Company, have no weight, are worth 34 credits, and are pretty easy to find on the five maps Offense, Titan, March, Rend, and Dime. I'd rank these at an A tier since they don't weigh anything, and I find them all the time. On to our last three, V-Type Engines are the first type of loot I ever picked up in this game. It's pretty easy to see why, as they have an incredibly high spawn rate on pretty much all five of the lower tier maps, and an even higher spawn rate on Experimentation, Vow, and Assurance. Pretty much every bunker dominant map, excluding Titan, has these. Despite this, I can't help but cringe every time I see them, as they're two-handed and only worth 38 scrap. I actually thought they were a lot heavier than they are. They're actually only 16 pounds, which is pretty surprising to find out. The fact that an entire engine weighs less than a shovel bumps up what would have been a D-tier item up to an easy C range. Here we are at the second to last item. We finally made it, guys. The wedding ring. We're getting married! The wedding ring is actually extremely heavy for this tiny size, coming in at 16 pounds. Good god. It's more like a wedding wristband. It also costs 66 credits, which is incredibly nice. It spawns commonly on the higher tier planets, and it's thankfully one-handed. I'll rank the wedding ring as an A tier, because who doesn't like getting married? Here we are, the yield sign, the final item I'll be ranking. The yield sign is the last of the three items that can hurt enemies in this game, which makes it kind of useful from the get-go. However, when you consider the fact that it weighs 42 pounds, and it weighs more than double that of a shovel and right around double that of a stop sign, it becomes so much less worth it, especially for the fact that it's 32 credits. I'm gonna go ahead and put yield signs at a C tier. And with that, we wrap this one up. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is definitely likely the longest one yet. So shout out to anyone who made it this far. I know I thanked y'all already on the last video, but that was before I absolutely blew sky fucking high. What the fuck? I still can't get over how much support everyone's giving me, and I'll be eternally grateful. I also have some exciting news to share with you guys. I set up a new Patreon down below in the description, and I'll be putting any patrons in future video outros and descriptions. So if you want to see your name in this section in the future and just support me, go ahead and throw $2 at me. It would mean the absolute world. And since I'm in college, it would help tremendously boost more content out in the future. But yeah, stupid idiot bullshit aside, I mostly just wanted to say thanks, and uh, yeah, that's the end.